think most of you know that Museums at Night is becoming one of the fastest growing and really exciting events in the cultural calendar. There's something like 139, 140 events taking place this year. Its purpose is not just to have museums and galleries open all night, but to do something different and try to attract a different and particularly a younger crowd of people who may not feel that museums and galleries have got very much to offer them. And that's really, that's really the core of, of, of what it's about. And for us at Culture24, it's, it feels like a wonderful time to be taking over this important event. It, it is the case that more and more people are getting engaged in, in, in what's going on in, in the museum and, and gallery sector. And that's, a, uh, and that's a hugely important and exciting thing for us. I mean, secondly, I do think that the kind of informal learning and the mix of informal learning and entertainment that goes on in museums and galleries, which transcends generations, is something which more and more people are enjoying and it's becoming a more and more important part of our cultural life uh, here in the UK and if it may be a rather grand claim but it does seem to me that what's going on in that area particularly in the online world as that is emerging uh, informs what's going on in the formal education sector where there's a real struggle to try and, and, and get in touch with a kind of creativity and a different kind of learning experience for people. And in that sense, what we're doing with an event like this has a huge symbolic significance, and I think it's important that we don't, uh, that we don't forget that. And, and the third thing is that whereas in the past most of the museums and galleries in this country, of which there are thousands, have tended to operate in isolation, an event like this, which has got a kind of national branding and feels like a, a, a national event, brings the whole sector together and gives it a kind of profile which otherwise it doesn't have and perhaps most importantly it allows a kind of equality of opportunity between a very small local folk museum and the big national institutions in London which has always been a bit of a kind of um, a, a bit of an issue particularly for those who are not running the big national museums in London so for all those reasons it feels like this is an important event and uh, and, and for us at Culture24, it's very significant to be taking it over uh, at this moment because we live and work in the online world primarily. And so for us, it's bringing together all the things that we are geared up to do, if you like. It, it exploits our network, it exploits our technical and creative skills online, it exploits our relationship with museums. And this is something which, although there's a huge amount of planning has gone into it, it's not been an enormously expensive operation, it's not been an enormously complex operation. I shouldn't say that to the Culture 24 <laughs> staff, but it happens to be true. Uh, and so the, the thought is, if we can do that for something like this, we can be doing this a lot more. We could be doing it a lot more during the course of the year. There are lots of other events which similarly can be celebrated in this way, bringing the whole museum and gallery world together. And I think that that is, uh, that is an enormous opportunity which we ought to be exploiting.